Pat says I've got to go talk to Oss. He's unhappy. Pat reckons he's unhappy. Don't you, Pat? Yeah, would you like some apple for him? Is that what you want me to do? Give him our apples? <laughs> <laughs> she does. You well, they might not like it. Oh, feeding it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh -huh. I don't believe it. I don't want to upset anybody. Uh, see you in a bit. <coughs> Hello, horsey. Hello. It's muddy there. Can I stroke your nose? He's not happy. <laughs> wow. So he wants to jump over that fence any minute. Ring in the garden. Oh. Everywhere's busy. Another CL there. Morning, everybody. Morning. Can we see? Does that make any difference? No. Is that any better? It'll be alright. It'll be alright. <laughs> It'll be alright on the night. Um, I've been thinking about that, why we didn't have any power when we stopped at that um, pub. And I think uh, the reason, uh, I think there wasn't, the battery was not fully charged when we pulled up at that pub. And I think the reason why is that this television that we have, 12 volt telly, it, we leave it plugged in, uh, into the 12 volt socket all the time and then it's on standby all the time. And I think that, Having that telly on standby was what took the top off the you know, top top bit of the battery. You know the. I'll show you. And I'll show switch. you what I mean. I'll show you what. That. 
That's 14.1 volts for the leisure battery, 14 volts for the vehicle battery. When we stopped, that left-hand battery were only on 12.4. See? So, I'm wondering if having this television, see the light is on. Can't see it here, you can. The light is on. I don't know what power that is draining because you can't tell when it, we're plugged in. So you can't actually tell until I unplug. But I'm wondering if that is why the battery wasn't fully charged when we arrived at that pub. People have said maybe a battery, a leisure battery is knackered, but it's a new battery. It's only about a year old. Yeah. It? So that... And the trouble is, if I go and get another battery, I'd have to buy two batteries because you, when you join two batteries up, they have to be the same age. Mm. Well, that's what I've been told. <laughs> About this? No. Um, so, yeah, that maybe that. Because with the setup that we've got, we've, we've stayed overnight without any problem before mm. so it's just uh, I, I, we leave the telly plugged in because Pat has a lot of trouble when it comes to plugging it in um, it's can't, it don't come on it's got to be in a certain a, place when you plug it yeah, in yeah yeah it's just another of these things um, yeah. so we just leave it plugged in and it's on standby all the time um, when when I go back, I'll show you what I do. When we go back to Tracy's, I'll to edit that now. Are you on? It's oh. on. It's on now. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, what would I say? Well, yeah. So when we go back to Tracy's, everything is off. We drain the the water tank and the and open the taps to drain the pipes. Mm. Uh, yeah. And when we sat last night having another look and discovered that there is another exit for heat on this seat that I'm sat on. And it's right again Trevor's yeah. feet, but it was shut. It was shut. For some reason. I didn't it must even... have got knocked or... Did I know there were a vent there and I... forgot? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think you knew there were a vent there, but it must have yeah. got knocked shut. I'm, I'm going to get... Maybe they've done it. <laughs> they? <laughs> oh, <laughs> garage. Yeah. We'll blame the garage. Blame the, garage. the bloody garage then. Blame them for everything. Yeah. I'll blame them this time, not you. <laughs> I'm going to get underneath and have a look at this pipe and make sure it ain't punctured. Because mm. it's vulnerable under there. Mm. It goes, comes, comes under the floor and back up again. Um, so who knows if it's got clobbered? Mm. So I'll check that. Right. Yeah, we we were debating this morning. Three things that have three things that could be responsible for the last fortnight of um, I don't know discomfort. I don't know what what to call it. it but it's either the weather, the van, or us. I say it's all three. Pat says it's all three. <laughs> the the weather's been... We, I can't remember having as bad a weather in November, uh, December. We've been out mm. loads of times yeah. this time of year before and I don't th remember encountering this kind of weather. No. So maybe that's one, one thing. The second one, the van. Um, that's something... Is Is it... Is the the boiler wearing out? Do the wear out? Is it? I don't know. Something in the van that's not working the same, um, or is it us that are just getting bloody old? <laughs> I know when we, we we used to go up to my mum's every fortnight. Every fortnight we used to sit. Uh, we used to stay until about nine o'clock at night, and. Um, 
the room temperature that me, that my mum had it at. We used to walk out of there at nine o'clock on a Saturday night with sore throats. <laughs> it was that hot. And my mum just felt the cold as she got older and older. And I just wondered, if, mm. is it us? Is it us getting older and feeling, yeah. feeling more pathetic? Yeah. Um, so I don't know which... It, Pat thinks it's all three. Yeah. I think it's all three. Yeah. Different things. A bit of this, a bit of that, and a bit of t'other. I think <laughs> a lot of things. You don't have to change. Somebody says, you know, uh, one of the subscribers says it sucks getting old. Yeah. If it sucks getting old, it sucks even more being old. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, I went for a walk yesterday. Now, when we were here, in this village a couple of years ago, as I said before, we had Christmas dinner in that pub. And I went for a walk down this village. And do you know, I went for a walk yesterday and there was traffic on this road. I thought, I don't remember all these cars when I, two years ago when I walked down this village, I don't remember all these cars to in and fro up this road. I mean, is that part of getting old and all? Is it, did you just get irritated by things that you never used to? Did bother cars going up and down like this two years ago and I didn't care. <laughs> I didn't hear them. Or, and now I do. Or has it increased in two years? Has it changed that much? I know things are changing. You'd have to ask somebody who lived in village whether they think traffic's increased well, in the uh, last yeah. two years. Ah, uh, you would. Mm. Yeah. Not much chance of that. I suppose I do have these chance encounters with people. Yeah, you were talking to a lady yesterday when you went out about the horse. Yeah. She said it were crazy. Yeah, this horse <laughs> in this field. Uh, she says it's crazy. It, it's behaving really funny. I think being alone in a field's driven it mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've seen that before, haven't we? Where the yeah. an horse on its own's just eaten top of top of fencing away, nibbled away at it, and sort of. Yeah, that's a sign, you know. Strange. First yeah. sign of madness. Air, air on the palms of your hands. We once had a lamb. The second side. Looking for him. Yeah, we once had a lamb that um, we were rearing and we kept it in a barn, but we used to put it out on grass because yeah, we had quite a big garden. Um, oh gosh, and it used to bleat and bleat and bleat, didn't it? If you took a radio in the barn and put the radio on it, it'd stop. Yeah. Stop bleating. Yeah. But it didn't like being on its didn't own. Didn't like being on its own. But I mean, we didn't know that when we first bought it, did we? Look, we found a cure for it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we ate it. <laughs> well, the old point of getting it, wasn't it? Yeah. Same with pig. Yeah. Well, we've we been did. Countryfied. <laughs> we had a pig, which we. Oh, we they had, the pig had a good life. He did. That made sure of that. Yeah. I looked after the pig when he when he were in France. I used to boil mangles up for it and tickle its belly. I told it used you to go to sleep. Not to get <laughs> I said it once, not a pet. It's, we're gonna eat it. Oh, That's when so, Tracy went vegetarian. It's so cute. Yeah, it is. Yeah, when she was 11. Mm. <laughs> 12. <laughs> Been vegetarian ever since. Mm. Yeah, that's it. But we did look after as animals because we had six ends and the last one lived for a long, long time. I think 11 years, I think. And she she got a bit ill and we brought her round again. We brought her in against fire and kept her warm and fed her 
with an eyedropper. Yeah, fed her with an eyedropper and she got better and then she had another few months outside, didn't she, in a little coop running around the garden chasing a cat. And then she she died. So yeah. actually. It you wouldn't think you could get a, attached to her. She was a lovely and I loved her. She was cute. She used to come pecking on the door every morning for her breakfast. Could hear her pecking on glass door. <laughs> 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 yeah, she lived quite a long time after others had gone, didn't she? She outlived them by mm. six years ago. Yeah, about. we didn't we didn't care that she wasn't laying or out, did we? No. She was just a pet. Mm. There's all <laughs> sorts buried in that garden. Cats, <laughs> hens, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, yeah. In fact, I think when we built the workshop, they dug them up, didn't they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when they laid foundations. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Well, M was still at our end. Henrietta was still alive then. Yeah. Went workshop with her. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm. We had a big pond with goldfish in, didn't we? That's yeah, well. yeah, yeah, we did. Started off in a in a fish tank and ended up in a pond in garden. It was a lovely garden. It. it was an enclosed garden. Mm. It was very nice. Full of wild. We didn't we didn't plant much. We're not gardeners. So we we all the plants that were in there just were plants that come every year on their own, mm. just wild, wild plants, and it 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 used to be beautiful, didn't it? Mm. Colour. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. I liked it, didn't I? Oh yeah. It was it was nice. Mm. Yeah. That was when we lived in Waddingham. Wow. Opposite the pub. I had energy and yeah strength and energy and. Mm more i don't know more ability somehow everything i touch now i just make a right mess of everything <laughs> as we've got older we've got clumsier i think haven't we yeah I tell, approach. Still, i don't know that's it that's the way it is isn't it you have to cope with it get yeah. on with it he's it's, always banging his head if you don't bang it up front he bangs it up back I know. If I had my hair shaved, my head shaved, <laughs> it'd be black and blue, I reckon, my head. Oh, um, it's raining. It it's, is raining. In fact, it's forecast rain all day. Oh, There's yeah. a couple of caravans arrived yesterday. Mm. Yeah. This guy, he's used to going out at winter. Opposite us, he's got... All his water tank all insulated, big blanket thing round it. I think it's an old, um, an old Ivy's jacket, maybe. He's got on it. Could be. Yeah. And then he's got one of these big, big gas cylinders, haven't they? Big red one. Yeah, he's got one of these massive. Massive gas cylinders that you have in a, a, a an house. It's not one of them outside front of van connected up. Mm. He was intending staying, I think. <laughs> I think there's a few people staying here. Yeah. Actually. When I look so. at them. In caravans. Yeah. 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 Old Brampton. Is that where we are? Yes, yeah, it's a wealthy area. It's the right. the houses are the posh houses right. in Old Brampton here in the village. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's a quite a nice site, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is a nice site. Mm. But yeah. we, it's not. Somebody says, why don't you? Why don't you stay on a site for three weeks? You know, in winter. Instead of having all this trouble that we've had over the last week or so, why don't you stay for three weeks on one site? Get a deal. You know, because they're expensive, all the sites, maybe they'll do a deal if you stay three weeks. 
and we were trying to think where we'd like to stay for three weeks. We haven't, we haven't thought of anywhere. No. That was about three days ago, and we've been yeah. racking his brains yeah. for three days trying the to think. The ones that that I've suggested where I would would stay longer um, are all grass pitches. Yeah. And we don't go on grass in winter. No. So, and some of them don't open in winter. No. Do but. Yeah. Well, we ain't thought of nowhere. Well, we'd, it'd have to be somewhere near facilities. Yeah, that you could walk to a shop or a, yeah. a pub. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. No, we can't think of anywhere. Good idea, I think. Yeah. Although I, I don't know. Never stayed. No, anywhere and for whether three. somebody do a deal just for three weeks. I know they do for six months. But yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Yeah. I don't. No. Anyway, that's it, I reckon. Mhm. Mm Today. Yeah. Don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What you're gonna do? No, I'm gonna wash up breakfast things. No, we just had us breakfast. Yeah. Trevor's had a couple of boiled eggs. Two perfect boiled eggs. He has to time them himself, though, because I tend to not quite get them right. I lost... Yeah, Simple either. thing, boiling an egg. She can't boil an egg, no. can't pack. You won't believe it. No. Yeah. They're never quite cooked enough, have they? <laughs> no, they're usually underdone. <laughs> underdone. They're either underdone or overdone. <laughs> 